Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to show how to use a different Apple ID for App Store and purchases on iPhone and iPad. Do you want to use a different Apple ID for App Store purchases and subscriptions? Perhaps you have some credits left to spend on your other account. Fortunately, this can be done without having to change the Apple ID that you are permanently logged into on your iPhone or iPad. That all being said, let's learn how to use a different Apple ID for App Store and purchases on iPhone and iPad. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. To get going, launch the settings app on your iPhone or iPad and then tap on the Apple ID banner located at the top center here. Select the media and procedures option that is located below iCloud settings. Additional options will now pop up from the bottom of your screen. Tap on sign out to log out of your primary Apple account. You will be clearly informed that you will only be signed out of App Store books, music and podcasts. Choose sign out to confirm your actions. Next, tap on media and purchases again to sign in with a new account. Next up, you'll get a pop-up asking you whether you want to use the primary account that you are signed into with iCloud. Choose the Not and Apple account name option. Now, enter the details of the Apple ID that you want to use and tap on Next to log in. That's pretty much it. You can now open the App Store to confirm that you are logged in with a different Apple account. If you ever happen to change your mind and wish to return to your main account for App Store purchases and other subscriptions, you can always repeat the same steps that I have just explained. You can continue to use this secondary account without affecting your iCloud storage plan, family saving, and find my features. However, when you open the music app, you will find that all your synced songs are missing since you are using a different account. You no longer have access to your Apple Music subscription so keep it in your mind that's all there is to it so that's the way you can use a different Apple ID account for App Store and purchases on your iOS or iPad OS device if you have found this video helpful make sure to like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy iOS and iPad OS hacks till then stay safe and have a great time bye bye